Today is day two of our rock adventure cruise in the Bay of Islands. We are waking up on the Rock Adventure Cruise. That's right, it's our second day of this overnight cruise in the Bay of Islands and after watching a stunning sunrise, we are tucking into some breakfast. If you guys remember yesterday, we did try our hand at shooting, at fishing and we did kayaking in the dark. That was really awesome. So check it out, the card is right above. But today, day number two of this cruise, we have much more planned. First up though, we need a really big breakfast. We're having some Weetabix, some muesli, some fruit, everything is healthy-ish. And the whole team is getting some strength in because today is going to be a full on day. While we're having breakfast, we're moving from Matofa Bay to our next destination in the Bay of Islands where we're going to do a little bit of morning snorkeling. And when I say we, I actually mean just me because if you haven't noticed, Robin has a broken arm. Although it looks like the middle of summer, it's actually the middle of winter. So everyone's a little bit apprehensive about jumping into the freezing cold water, but the team of the Rock Adventure crew say it's definitely worth it. So we go in for the stride. Sure, the water is pretty cold, but we're actually super distracted from the get-go because there's so much to see down here. And we have been set a mission to collect some kinna. Kinna is a sea urchin in New Zealand and it's actually a local delicacy so we are collecting a big bunch of them for us to try later on the boat. Although they have a spiky shell, kinna are actually pretty easy to grab off the sea floor and the team from the Rock Cruise tell us that there's actually a little bit too many of them in the Bay of Islands at the moment eating away at all the kelp forest and the natural environment around so we're helping out with the conservation effort as well. While we're collecting lots of kinna, one of the guides is showing us a huge eagle ray which is tucked up between the rocks. So we go over to check it out and sure enough we get super close to it. It's amazing to watch it for a while until it eventually swims away so we decide to swim away too and collect some more of that kinna. After about 20 minutes of snorkeling and seeing so many amazing things, a few of us are starting to feel that winter chill so we're heading back onto the boat feeling super refreshed. Yeah, there were loads of fish, but every time I tried to swim toward them, they swam away. But hung out with a stingray, which was pretty cool, and collected a few kinna. So we got all this. It looks like the catch was really good, but we don't have time to check it out just yet because we're already hopping on a boat toward our next adventure. This particular bay, we call it Twin Lagoons. So when you do the hike up to the top and you look down, you'll be able to see the two lagoons that fill up during high tide. Yep, that's right, we are now heading to Motu Arohia. Oh, sorry about that. Also known as Robertson Island. And this island offers amazing views of the Bay of Island after only a very short walk, so we can't miss it. The whole group is following the guide, walking up the hill through beautiful Kanuka and Manika Forest all the way to the viewpoint. It's definitely a very short walk, but so rewarding. The views as soon as we arrive on top are seriously mind-blowing. Our guide is taking the time while on top of the island to tell us the story of the Robertsons, which is the family that used to own the island. It's a really scandalous story that if you guys are interested about, just Google it because I can't remember all the details. Nonetheless, the view is absolutely amazing and that's why we are here for. Everybody is taking pictures and taking in the gorgeousness of the area. The Bay of Island comprises 144 different islands and we can see a ton of them from up here. After Laura has taken literally over 100 pictures from the top of the island, we are already making our way back down. We still have plenty of time on the island, so we are going to be taking some time to relax on the beach. And who says relaxing on the beach says obviously beach games, so after a bit of a chit chat, we are taking the frisbees out. The Rock Cruise has an awesome setup of equipment with kayaks for us to use. We also have loads of beach games like volleyballs, rugby balls and frisbee. And we decide to take on the frisbee where a lot of us are a lot better than others. After playing some games, we get the time to do more of our own thing. Whether that's taking a nice long walk on the beach, just sunbathing in the nice Bay of Islands sun or even doing a little bit of bird watching. We see some really rare wildlife on the beach known as New Zealand Dottrell and the team actually told us all about them on the way over here so we make sure to keep our distance. Adam comes to collect us off the island from the motorboat while some people decide to kayak their way back to the rock boat. And what's waiting for us is an awesome lunch platter of make your own sandwiches. 
The fact that we actually did a two day tour with the Rock Crews made it for the perfect opportunity to make some awesome friends. We met people from everywhere in the world but mostly from Australia because that's what the group is all about. But after that we are moving on to dessert and dessert is going to be the kina that the guys went fishing this morning. Kina is a Maori delicacy, it actually used to be a celebratory dish and it's actually quite easy to get from the sea. Once you've collected all of those you just need to slice it in half and eat the eggs which are inside. That is really brown paste that you can see us eating right now. It tastes really delicious, it's kind of like the New Zealand version of caviar. And once the degustation is over we're making our way back to Pahia town. It's the longest activity we've done but yet it went super quickly. Yes, that was really bro. This activity wraps up our adventure in Pahia. Oh my god, I can't believe how much we did in the Bay of Islands hub. But we are now moving on to another destination, which is going to be Ahipara, which is going to be the northern town where we're going to be spending the most time. There is heaps of more adventure to come. Oh, oh Richard! <laughs> What have you found? Some New Zealand uh, sea life? Yeah. Right, I can't wait to cook this up. 